Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Borderlands 3 sequel. Last time we finally got to meet Pickle over here, uh, which is uh, Jenny Springs' little friend uh, who's like a 10 year old kid that is also good with technology. So he's going to help us get a military AI for Jack's robots, but first, there's a side mission somewhere back there. And oh my god, it's all the way. It's like all the way back there. I don't remember. Is that the mission I think it is? Maybe. I don't know. Let's go do it. Um, I don't know how much of this we're going to leave in. Maybe we'll speed it up or something? I don't know. The problem is, when I speed things up, I'd like to have. I would like to have music in the background, but I don't know what kind of music I can use or where I get music I can use. I don't know. So. I mean, we haven't seen this area, so I guess we can leave it in here. We've seen, well, we've sprinted through this part here. Oh, I forgot we had this cool sniper rifle. Yeah, I like the sniper rifle. This is cool. Uh, 75 crit kills the sniper rifles. Okay. Yeah, we'll work on that over time. I mean, it kind of. That's an intuitive challenge for sniper rifles, anyways, because, you know, you're going for headshots generally. Oops. There we go. Just get up and over this. Yeah, there we go. That enhanced mobility from the uh, Oz kit is really nice. And refill my oxygen, and oh crap. I'm gonna have to be careful about how we do this part. If we want to get back the easy way, which I do. There we go. Ow, 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 ow. No, wait, seriously? Let me out. There we go, good. <laughs> Sometimes, every once in a while. The hitboxes are a little funky in this game. Uh, there's more? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> uh, shield. That's not a bad shield, but the capacity is pretty low. Good aspects of that shield are not bad. It wasn't yours anyways. Yep. Got him. I'm running out of sniper ammo. I got one more shot, and then I have to reload. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, wait, wait. Got him. <laughs> uh, shock barrel. I don't need that. Um, let's try something else for this guy. There we go. You know something else I've, I've thought about a lot in the recent is, like, you get your third weapon slot way, way, way later in the game, it feels like, than in uh, Borderlands 2. It feels like you get your third weapon slot pretty early in Borderlands 2, and it takes forever in this game. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I don't know. Maybe in terms of level, it's not that different, but in terms of like how far into the game you are, it definitely feels very significant. I would love to have a third weapon slot right now. Whoa, that was close. Oh. Hello. Boom. Let's see if I can freeze him. And then... Smash! Yeah! Uh, okay, he didn't sound like moonstones or anything valuable over there. Boom! Okay, I think he throwed it to death, actually, but still. Ah! Bomb! Whee! Boom! Oh, the railing kept him from going flying. Yeah! Don't jet fire, you need to screw off, man. I'm also running out of ammo again. There we go. Ah! Shoot. Wait, I need to. There we go. This, uh, this thing has some weird accuracy every once in a while. The shells just go way off to the side of bullets. I said shells because I was just playing World of Warships right before this, so. Shells is on the brain. What's that? Oh shoot. Grenade! I'm good. <laughs> Just ran over it, but whatever. Alright. Uh, there we go. Back up here. No, 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 no. Uh. Alright. Screw you. What the hell is up with that? You guys see that, right? The, the gun was just shooting off to the side there for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, another freaking jet fighter. More of these badasses. Get out of here, man. There's another one. 
Why are they all badasses? Oh no, you have a rocket launcher. I'm not letting him survive. What is going on over here? You guys mind holding off on getting the jet fighters for a little bit here, please? Leave me alone. For the love of everything. Hey, hey, hey. What's this now? Regular scab. Screw you. Okay. Yeah, it is this quest that I thought it was. Holy cow. That took some doing to get over here. This is gonna be epic. People will sing songs about this slammer jam. Uh, kids got spirit, but it'll be all for nothing if we can't find a ball. Okay. Hi. Boom shakalaka. Game time. I'm fixing to perform the most badass in this slam dunk in the history of the game. But I lost my lucky ball. Could you find it for me? Yeah, all right, sure. Uh, let me see. Where do I? How do I wanna? Uh, oh yeah, jump pad. Nope, not that jump pad. I don't think it's that jump pad. There's gonna be another jump pad, right? Because otherwise, I don't remember how else you're supposed to get out of here. Maybe it is just this jump pad. Yeah, it's that one. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Still want more ammo for my assault rifle than I have now. Actually, there's this little building here. Uh, screw you. Yeah, uh, there was another one. Where is he? That's oh, another badass. Boom! Gosh. Just when the hip fire doesn't work, it's like. I'm back in World of Warships, playing Battleship. The gun just won't shoot straight. Screw you. Ooh, look, Moonstone. We've, uh, we've killed a lot of badasses in the last few minutes here, and we've not gotten many Moonstones, which is a little disappointing. Do you mind back there? I'm going for a weapon chest. Thank you very much. Moonstones. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these shields are just low capacity, which you know is not terribly helpful. Do that. That was a laser. I might want to go check that out. Moonstone uh, skin that I don't need. Moonstone cluster. That's what I'm talking about. What was that? Where was what the? Oh, here it is. Oh, it's uh, incendiary splitter. Eh. Loud vehicle going by. Yeah, I'm sure that came through real good on the mic there. All right, we're looking for a basketball. That's the whole point of this thing here. So if we come down, now there it is. <sighs> what? Leave me alone. See, I don't watch. You gotta go hard, take it to the hole, and get what's yours. The ball hunter found your ball, Dunks. Excellent play. Team effort. Bring it back here, and we'll take this game to the next level. Team nothing. I did all the work. I don't follow, like, basketball at all, so I'm sure they're making all kinds of references. Just going now right over my head. There's your ball, man. Now it's time to slam and jam. Dunks is lining up. Let's see if he can get the height he needs to perform what scientists have dubbed the ultimate slam dunk. Let's do this. Basketball! He really believed in himself. Dunks Watson has jumped so high he broke Elvis's gravitational pull. A truly monumentous day for Bebo, any way you put it. Okay. There's that, I guess. With Dunks gone, we'll need a new athlete to show the world their stuff. Hey, I can do that. Lucky number 41. Fantastic. You don't need a ball. Just jump up into the air and slam down on that hoop to complete the most slam jamminess b-ball dunk in history. If you could do so while engulfed in flames, that would be even more slam jamminess. And I only want to see one b-ball player on the court at one time. The glory of this slam jam can't be split amongst the team. That's in place you can't, in case you're playing co-op, which we're not. So we're gonna light ourselves on fire. And we're gonna jump. Look out for that! He or she is on fire! 
This can be a little tricky. There we go. Because sometimes you, you, when you slam, you don't actually go straight down. You go a little bit forward, so Clap that can trap, be hard that sometimes. That was simply the most b-ball-tastic thing I have ever seen. What is your secret? What can I say? It's talent. So people learn b-ball. I was just born with it. I took it to the hole and I dominated. Wise words from the single most ballness athlete to ever hit the court. Speak to me again when you're ready. Ta-da! Space slam. Ooh. Back to you, voice in my head. Free rocket launcher? Hey, I need one of those. I don't have a rocket launcher yet. Cool. Uh, Mark, that's fine. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, it's basically the landscaper, but it sucks. So I don't want to use it, so... Yeah, all right, cool. So there's that side mission done. done. Now, I'm going to cut and make it back over to uh, Pickle, and we will... Cross the bridge to the Drakensberg and continue on the main story quest. Alright, we're back over here by Pickle. We are ready to head to a new area. Outlands Spur, I believe. Yeah, Outlands Spur. We're going to be basically moving towards this gigantic doll ship that crashed a, a long time ago. Uh, around the time of the Krakening. And um, I'm going to be trying to retrieve a big, powerful military AI from inside the ship. It was actually the AI that uh, commanded the ship, so... Yeah. Alright. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't a bad class mod, but... How about the... Uh, oh, it's a best cut. Oh! I don't need it. Um, that is for something else later on. We don't need that right now. The Drakensberg's a juicy wreck, all right. Ex-Dial frigate, don't you know? But it's stuffed with tech I could half-inch pinch. The bosun and skipper have been good at keeping me out. But now you're here, that's about to change. Freeze! Ah, uh -huh. oh, I was hoping to die to fall damage from the being frozen. But I guess not. Oh, no, 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 get all my health back. Whoo, that was close. Oh, hello. That's what I'm saying. Ow. 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 Why? Why me? Wait a second. I wonder if I can... Hmm. <coughs> Aha! I wonder if there's any benefit to doing this. I don't know if there's a weapon chest or not, or what, but we're gonna try to find out. Do I have an SMG I could even use for that subroutine? No. Um, I mean, let's let's try the shotgun. We can play with the shotgun in a little bit here. I don't see a weapon chest up there or anything, so... Oh yeah, different types of uh, kragans now. Now we're fighting ice-type kragans. So, right before they die, they freeze and then shatter. Which is pretty cool, actually. See you later! Suckers! I should pay attention to where I'm going so I don't fall in, <laughs> in the crack. Alright. Uh, okay. Whoa, 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 Fly. We're gonna blast this guy and blast that guy and blast that guy again. And we're gonna blast him one more time. There we go. Hello, armored outlaw. I'm trying to get in that uh, thing there. Oxygen. Well, that's too bad. Whoa! Someone has a rocket launcher over there. They need to die. Whoa! Get that corrosive barrel to help me out. Yep. Minion trap. Got a minion. Uh, where did minion go? Oh, come on. Seriously? Die, 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 die. Yes, good. Ugh, 
freaking shotgun ran out of ammo. There. Oh look, it's freaking Dragon Stubball that's resistant to ice type damage. Why did I run out of shotgun ammo? We need to get back to uh, Concordia at some point and buy some ammo as to use, because that's going to be an issue if I keep running out of ammo like that. Hi. Just going to do this. Here we go. Stop. Stay down. Stay down! Jeez, how many times am I going to bounce off that stupid pad? Alright. Man, oh man. Before the crackling, that's what they say. Now, a bunch of ripe smelling scavs live there, led by the bosun and his friend, what's called the skipper. Not that anyone knows what she looks like, which makes your head scratch. Anyway, find a way inside and don't be shy to say hello to the locals on the way. What kind of. What am I using now? Oh, health regen. Yeah, that's useful. Um, I need these white guns, and yeah, there we go. Alright, let me. Uh, uh, ooh, Moonstone and White Shield don't need it. Don't need it. Alright, so I got the sniper rifle. Let me see here. Uh, I guess we'll try to go back to this uh, splitter here. Reload. Where are you going, buddy? I know I have a fire laser, but we're also not fighting in an atmosphere at this moment, so don't be of limited use. Yep, there we go. Come on. Oh my gosh. I wonder if the AI actually know when you're reloading and then they pop out while you're reloading, because that's exactly what he did there. But I wonder if that was an accident or if that was if they were like actually programmed to do that. Just die already? Alright, this this laser's getting a little outdated in terms of damage output here. I mean it's still not bad, but it's certainly it's not quite living up to my standards here. Oh good, badass another tech. Ow. Health. Oh great. Yeah, this is what I need when I have an ammo crisis on my hands. Can I just get up there, please? The other problem is I can't sprint while this is happening, because I can't sprint shoot at the same time. Actually, Wilhelm can with one of his skills, but the rest of these characters can't, so... You know. Ugh. That can be useful. That can really be useful sometimes, but... Like, when there's one enemy left, and you get to like, try to find your way to him? Yeah, not, not helpful. Uh, weapon chests. I came up here a little bit preemptively, but it's fine. Ooh, hello. Revolver, shotgun. Ooh, it only has one barrel, so limited pellet count. But I kind of want to try that. This could be good. Could be good. Could be bad, you know, but could be good. Is there, there is another weapon chest down there. Small one, but it's there. I want it. Go down here, and we're gonna... Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Aw, oh, it's close. Hmm, just gonna have to assume that'll open up on its own at some point. Alright, can I get behind this sign here? Uh oh. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. I just don't want to be stuck, that's all. Gonna go this way. Do this the right way, I guess. Alright, let's cross this bridge here and get on over to Drakensburg, or what's left of it, anyways. Ah, what? Whoa! and won't tear you to pieces. What do you say? Ha! Called it, didn't I? I was totally wrong, which is super normal. Do you have an alternate plan to reach the Dragonsburg? Glad you asked. The bridge has a manual override nearby. I'm uploading its location to your echo. Is that the squealing little thief pick eye here? If you were here, I've got half a mind to let you over here so I can pull your legs off and make you go jogging. Listen, you and the kids should stay away. That was your one warning. 
Nah, we're gonna come in there and get the AI anyways. Alright, let's see here. Manual override. Of course. from the reservoirs into the lava. We'll create our own path by cooling it off. This is gonna be ace. I'm warning you, kid. You and your pet vault hunter try any funny business and I'll wear your eyeballs as earrings. Uh, there are currently... There's currently at least one motorcycle outside my house, so... I'm just kind of waiting for him to leave. I think he's, he's finally leaving. Okay, man, oh man. Ah, I still want to get into that room with the chest. Um, the door on the inside has a uh, has a um, button, but the door on the outside does not have a button. So, you know. course you do because that's how this always goes but oh well it means we get to kill stuff right so can't really complain too much <laughs> anyways let's uh, head over here we're gonna um, take that white rarity gun there we're gonna get some oxygen and head this way If I can hit the target, this thing is really not bad. But hitting the target is the part that's difficult for me because I suck. Yep. Oh, hello. Good dragon. Yeah, the damage is really not bad. And the fact that I can fire five times before I have to worry about reloading is also very nice. No, you don't, Claptrap. We've been through this. Ah. It's honestly, so what's interesting is that uh, in, in most video games, when an enemy hits you, they actually knock you off the ground by just like a couple millimeters, but not much. But it's enough that if there is something where, like there's an air boost, like in this game, and you're trying to jump off the ground while you're being hit, you'll actually just be boosting like very, very little, and it doesn't actually help you. He thinks he's really smart, but he doesn't seem to be all that smart. Boom. 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 Alright, let's try some grenades here, because there's a lot of dragons. Alright, so shotgun's not so good against the people. Fair enough, I guess. Dragons are, you know, generally a lot more fragile anyways, so. See, that's not bad, but it would reduce my max health by a lot, so that's not what I want. Hey, wait right again. I need you. Hopefully I don't keep, you know, I don't end up forgetting I need those and, like, selling all of them. But that, that sounds like something I would probably end up doing. I just hope I don't. <laughs> How many moonstones are we up to? Oh my god, 80. Yeah, we need to probably go and sell a bunch of those. Hi there, Crag and Avalanche. You're worth a lot of XP, so I want to come and kill you. Yeah, it's great against these guys, but these guys are also, like, ice type, so I wonder if they have a natural inherent weakness to explosion, uh, explosions and explosive type damage. Which would make sense, of course. I just don't know if that's exactly the case. Okay. Just need to, there we go. 
melee for the melee for the win since we're having shotgun ammo problems. Um, oxygen and then this way. Oh, he's got turrets that are gonna come out. So let's give this thing a try because I don't know why not. Corrosion's good against armor. I am going to leave your turrets alone because you're trying to kill me with them, so I need them to die before they kill me. Uh, I think he's gonna, yeah. Die. What is that? What is that? What is it? It's it? it? a white rarity gun. You mind, sir. SMG subroutine. Hmm. Hmm. I don't have any good SMGs right now. This uh, sniper rifle is not bad. Honestly. It's considered. Alright, we're just gonna. Yeah. Yeah, go, White Pot. Ow. Whoa. Oh my god. Just gave myself half a heart attack there. Uh, I didn't realize how close to the edge I was. It's not that I'm afraid, I'm not worried about dying, I don't care, but like, um, I just, I thought I was fine, and then I finally looked down a little bit from the, the uh, aerial enemies, and then the edge of the bridge is right there. Whew. That was, that was a little bit vertigo-inducing. Um, let's see here. I suppose we can try this revolver. On the, you know, in the interest of just trying different guns that we find. It's why not, right? <sighs> not a bad revolver. It sucks that I'm terrible at uh, aiming with them, but, you know. There we go. Boy, when I used to play multiplayer, like Battlefield, all the time, I was like really good at aiming and stuff, and I just have not been playing fast paced multiplayer shooters like that in a while. Most of the multiplayer I play now is, well, you know, World of Warships, for example. Yeah, good job, turret. What is that? What is that? I don't know, but it gives me gun damage and jump capacity, so I'm probably gonna want it. Is it as a class mod? What? Yeah, it's a class mod. Gun damage. Oh, it reduces my shield capacity. No, I'm good. I don't need that. Uh, I did level up and get to skill point though. Okay. Triple clocked. Uh, multiple uh, multiplies the bonuses and penalties of the current subroutine by up to three. The fewer frag stacks you have, the greater the multiplier. Defensive subroutines always receive triple capacity regardless of stacks. Also unlocks action action package one-shot wonder. Every shot empties all the bullets from your clip, which is actually very useful because it also adds all the damage together from the magazine at the same time. So that's pretty cool. All right, so now the subroutines will be three times as potent as pictured there, so we really should try to stick to them here. So we'll go back to an assault rifle this. Yeah, now we're really tearing through these guys. What, what? Oh, one shot wonder. I mean, this is a good skill, but uh, bad timing, because now I got no one to use it on. That sucks. It's a really good skill. Anyways, what's cool about it is when you fire, it actually pushes you backwards, which is cool. But oh boy. make it, make it, make it. Ah, just made us. Another one over there too. Yep. There it is. Oh, there we go. Ooh, 
moonstones. Hey. There's a weapon chest over here somewhere. There it is. Oh, rocket launcher. That's cool. What kind of rocket launcher is it? Incendiary. And, and, you know. I'm loving it large, mate. Keep it up. Sweet. Oh, is that another moonstone? It is. Nice. The flow ain't getting through. Get to the methane treatment plant and transfer it. Try to see what the deal is. Hmm, okay. We can do that. Uh, but first, we are going to run out on this pipe. And because the reason we're doing this is because right over there, I think, is a weapon chest. I'm pretty sure. Alright, maybe? Maybe I'm totally mistaken. Let's go find out. I thought there was. Maybe not. Suck on my Maybe not. Men, Vault Hunter. I promise you that sounded better in your head. <laughs> Get out of here, jet fighter. Yeah, I'm not down on the ground. That's your problem right now. I'm up here. Aha. All right. Well, I guess there's another weapon just up here, and I'm mistaken. I must be thinking of a different part of the map. Anyways, we're basically at time here, so I think that'll do it for this episode of Borderlands the Pre-Sequel. Thank you very much for watching. Ow. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video.